everyone um so i last made a video for youtube um four months ago um at that time i was six months post-op um <laughs> maybe it was about five months ago um because I, it was titled six months post-op um and i was down a hundred pounds um i am now almost 11 months post-op. Um, I believe next week will be 11 months and I have lost another 12 pounds. Um, the weight is coming off very slowly now. So I, I think I'm done losing. Um, and I believe that I'm now in maintenance mode, um, which is perfect for me. I hit my goal weight. My original goal was 152 which was 100 pounds down. And then I made another goal to hit 145, which would put me in the normal or healthy BMI range, which I've never been in my entire life. Um, I hit that and I am now 140. I stay between 140 and 142. I bounce between those two numbers or that three pound weight range, 140, 141, 142. Um, and I've been sitting there for Mm, I think the last maybe six weeks, I'd have to look back at my fitness pal to see because I track, I still weigh in every Sunday. Um, what are the big things going on? So, um, I'm maintaining, I'm pushing the protein. I'm trying to get more protein in every day. Um, I, I was doing 80 to 90 grams of protein a day. I try to at least get a hundred now. Um, but 120 would be like ideal for a day. Water. I don't know why it's such a struggle for me, but I still struggle to get my water goal in every day. Excuse me. Every day. Um, sometimes I'm lucky if it's 40, um, I do drink coffee, so I have at least two cups of coffee every day, plus my water, plus I'll drink um, like a zero sugar tea, or I have um, an energy drink. So ounces of liquid, I probably get in enough. Water, I don't. I, I just don't know what my, my block is there. Um, I have been experiencing for the past couple of months, some dizziness and lightheadedness. Um, I did ask my doctor for some updated blood work that all came back that I had high, high, high liver enzymes, um, which I've never had historically looking back through my, my chart. I've never had high liver enzymes ever. In all of the years that I was obese, morbidly obese, at whatever stage I was at, I always was just normal. Um, in the past couple of months, your one of my liver enzymes is supposed to be under 35. Um, it's 179. The other one is supposed to be under 50 or 55 or something like that, and it's 85. Um, so my doctor ordered a liver ultrasound. I'm sorry, my hair is like, ugh. first off, y'all see all the baby hairs. That's all my new growth since I lost a lot of hair. Um, I'm struggling with that. Anyways, um, he ordered a liver ultrasound, um, and I was diagnosed with fatty liver disease. I am currently waiting for my appointment with GI to see how to take care of that, um, and how to manage it. Um, my doctor said that he is at a loss because normally the things he tells his patients to do when they have that diagnosis is to eat healthy, not drink alcohol and exercise. I'm eating healthier than I ever have in my life. I exercise and I have not drank in 15 years. So, um, that's where I'm at right now. Um, what else do I have going on? Next month in July is my one-year post-op um, anniversary, my surgery anniversary, if you will. And I have a 
an appointment with my surgeon. Um, actually, my surgeon has left the practice, so I'm seeing one of his partners. Um, but I'm excited for that one one year checkup. I can't wait to go in. And although it's a surgeon that I'm not familiar with, um, or I've never met personally, I am excited to have him see all of the stuff that I've done. Um, I do still run bariatric group. I don't know if I said that in my last video. I didn't, I didn't listen to the whole thing. Um, but I run our support group, um, which takes place every two weeks at the surgeon's office. So I help new people coming into the program, help navigate the whole six months that they're going to be in it or longer if they have to be. Um, and then I meet with, um, post-op patients too. So we all sit there together and we share our journeys and any questions we have and struggles and victories. And it's, it's, it's really helped me to stay accountable for sure. Um, so we do that every two weeks. Our next one is this Wednesday. Um, the only other thing I really have going on in my life is, well, there's two things. I just turned 40 on Friday. Um, and I'm excited for 40. Like I lived all of my 20s and all of my 30s obese. And I am now healthy for the first time in my life. Um, and I'm excited to live my 40s healthy. I really can't with these baby hairs, y'all. Um, and I did talk about the fact that I was going to school in my last video. I am done. I finished in April. Um, I now have an associates in medical coding and reimbursement. I think that's what the program's called. Um, I have graduation actually, actually this Friday in Buffalo. Um, I am graduating with honors on the Dean's list, um, summa cum laude, and I was inducted into the honor society. So I'm super proud of all of the stuff I've been able to do. I navigated all of my college career um, through our move. Uh, when we bought the house, my mother-in-law passed away. My grandfather passed away. Um, those were two huge losses in our family. And then I had this life-changing, life-altering surgery. And I've had some complications from it, but I've been able to finish school, get that done, and I'm glad to be done. I do still have to take my certification exam, which is in September. It's a four hour long test to see if I am um, a certified coding specialist. <laughs> That's the next certification. I'm already a certified coding specialist. I forget what the other one is. I have a CCA right now. It'll be a CCSP. Um, that's what this one is. So that's everything I have going on right now. I am going to try. I promise you guys nothing. You know this. I'm horrible at YouTube. TikTok I'm on all the time. YouTube I'm horrible at. But I'm going to try to do a what I eat in a day. So you guys can see kind of um, how it is throughout my day and what I actually consume, um, just so that if anybody's curious or doesn't know how to navigate this themselves or is thinking about having surgery in the future, um, whether it's gastric bypass, which is what I had, or um, sleeve or duodenal switch. I, it, my surgeon's office does not offer that. Um, they only do gastric bypass and um, sleeve. But no matter the surgery that you're thinking of having, or if you're on another health journey and you are eating high protein, low carb, I don't cut carb out completely. I've done that before. Um, low carb, zero sugar or as low sugar as possible. Um, that is what I will try to show you. Um, now that I am 11 months post-op and down 112 pounds. So I thank you for watching this video. Um, comment if you've followed me before, if you're new, um, if you've had bariatric surgery, if you're thinking about it, leave me a comment. Let me know that you watched this video and 
If you are not a subscriber, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and I'm really going to try to make more videos. You can also follow me over on TikTok. Um, my name on TikTok is Nicole Savage Beauty. See you later.